Shalom. Love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. It's time to raise your hands to heaven to receive that which the Lord would bring into our hands. And so praise the Lord that the time of uh, the end has come and that the Lord God has sent his Elijah task into the world to have our love revert back to as it was when we were little children, to have faith that is love-based and not doctrine-based on religion of men. And so praise the Lord that the, the, the Lord's fire of his refiner's fire is flowing. So I say unto all of you, welcome and love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace. Uh, it came to pass that I had um, a dream and the dream was so vi vivid. Now I have had a, a couple, two times open eyed vision, but this was a vision within a dream. And I saw the Lord and I, I had just watched a movie <laughs> as a, maybe it was the pizza. I don't know. What was it? It was the robe. It was an old movie with uh, Jeffrey uh, Hunter as Christ. And I just, I've watched that movie, I don't know, 10 times. I just loved that movie. And uh, anyway, so that night I had a, a dream. And I was, I guess, about 20 when I had this. And I started writing journals. So I wrote it down many years ago, uh, never knowing that I would end up becoming a writer the rest of my life and that the Lord would empower me in that way line by line, precept by precept, would Elijah come forth as the strong and mighty one, as a destroying storm with the appointment of Jeremiah 1.10 and Haggai 2.2 2 in my mouth. So verily, uh, verily, verily, it came to pass, truly, truly, when I beheld uh, Christ Jesus in a dream, he said unto all people, and there was multitudes in front of him. He was like, uh, it was like a scene right out of the movie. Uh, maybe it was I don't know, it's been a long time since I've seen the movie now, but uh, I, I forget exactly, what, but it was just a lot of people around the Lord. And so he was saying this, Verily I say unto you, good must come, and blessed is the one through whom love and goodness comes through. So be strong in battle and fight against the ancient serpent and his forthcoming seed, who has been removed, banished, in accordance with Daniel 12, 1, in these days of Elijah, because otherwise he would have just made God into a liar, because he was the accuser of the brethren day and night before the Lord, telling the Lord all about our sin. But the God is saying, I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember. I'll write my law and love on your heart. Beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught of me anymore. So uh, Satan immediately would have caused God to, not to be able to say, I will never remember your sin. If Satan's in his ear, blah, 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 blah. So, um, and he, the Lord said, and you will not only receive the eternal kingdom of love, but you will also be given some flames of understanding by the spirit of truth. For I am the eternal blazing fire of God, saith the Lord, and he that is near me is near my fire, which only consumes heart, hearts filled with faith, hope, and my unending love. And in my vision, this was a place of serenity. It was a zone of tranquil quietude. And it was, um, um, I saw a, a, a vision of a jagged rocks that were covering over the area. Uh, it was like all of a sudden Jesus vanished and I'm seeing like the grotto of Jeremiah where where he prayed for our oneness. And this was happening due to fast twirling living waters in my dream. It was like swirling clouds. And um, so the banks of that hillside were broken into sharp clefts uh, because of weathering due to the moving living waters or the the fogginess of the cloud it was like it was like a, a rock that every hundred years a giant feather would just brush against it but eventually it would start wearing down that rock <laughs> it was just like something out of um, twilight zone is what i was seeing but it was a, a spot of wonder and there was a ambiance of splendor around me that was so utterly thick and captivating it was the the majesty of majesties and the splendor of his magnificence and the beneficence thereof 
And then I heard the voice of the Lord echoing again, but I could not see him at this point. And he said, because the, the loving, uh, the gate of the life of love, of one who lives by love, because that gate is straight and the way of truth narrow, therefore shall few, there shall be few followers of, of love um, as people let their, their love wax cold. So it's our job to let him stir up his love and restore us as when we were like a little child. And then I heard beautiful harmony within my head and I all of a sudden was forced in my vision to look up to our blazing Father of lights above. And as I prayed, the heavens opened and I suddenly heard him again say this, uh, he says, and wisdom sends out her children. Therefore, what your right hand will do, let your left hand, do not let your left hand know what it does. So it was a very special moment from the great beyond. And I knew that the Lord was giving me uh, uh, instructions and to, to walk in, in uh, as much wisdom as possible and I knew that uh, nothing could top an understanding of our Almighty God who dwells in heaven because he created everything out of nothing and he increased everything for his holy church church's sake for the sake of all of us and so praise God that the, the Lord is sending forth in this hour uh, new understandings so um, I say unto all people of love, as his, his messenger, as Christ's servant of Isaiah 49, who's done everything for vain. If that's not me, I don't know who has. I've got over 2,000 videos at the, uh, my other channel, and I got 12 uh, subscribers. <laughs> Meanwhile, more official who preaches no God and Jesus is a liar, Jesus is Satan, he's got uh, a million followers, he's got uh, 25,000 uh, subscribers, he had 150,000 subscribers in one year of people saying, yeah, Jesus is a fucking asshole. But someone out here praising him can't get 12 or 13 subscribers with 2,000 videos of me and passion. So there is something freaked up, excuse my French, with this world. So let us resist all iniquity and uh, all closed-mindedness and quit repent of being as shallow as a glass of water because you can never hold the great ocean of the Lord's adoration that he wants to pour out upon one and all of us. So hold all of our pettiness and our small-mindedness, hold that in hatred. Uh, and woe unto those speaking good of evil and calling evil good, uh, for they uh, condemn as a malefacto, as a malefactor, God himself. They accuse him who is the author of good, and therefore they justify Satan as being good, who is the origin of all even, even though they don't even realize that he has already been removed. So, man, it's time that we get our, our acts in, in order because this world is in deep doo-doo if we will not. True story.